Greetings, I'm Neon Slice, and today I'm going to be giving you a short review on Resident Evil 4 and how it compares to its predecessor, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Before you jump into Resident Evil 4, you have to have played Resident Evil 2 Remake. This not only will give you some more insight to the storyline, but it will also improve your overall experience in RE4 Remake. Don't worry though, you don't have to have played it, the original Resident Evil 4, you're perfectly fine if you didn't. Although there is plenty of fan service in this game, so if you play the original, you will be rewarded, in my opinion. I think this game is incredibly similar actually to the original. There aren't that many differences other than, you know, some quality of life improvements. Of course, the graphics are amazing. It runs incredibly well on my PC and I don't even have the latest PC parts. In fact, I'm running this on an RX 6600 AMD card and an Intel 9700 processor and I've installed it on an SSD so that really, really, really gets the game I think where it needs to be in my opinion. Now, don't worry, you don't need a NASA PC to run this, but you're probably okay with just running it on a PS5. It is made for a PS5, after all. In terms of staying true to the original game, this game does a wonderful and amazing job at giving you that same vibe of the original while still giving you something new to enjoy. Now, let's talk about the bad things that I don't like about it. The very first one is that Mercenaries is not available at launch. Now, this might change, of course. I'm recording this in a point where RE4 Mercenaries is not out yet. My other biggest complaint is that the knife is amazing now. It does a bunch of new things and I love it gameplay-wise. But I just hate how breaking a box takes like 1% of your knife. I know that it's not that big of a deal, but you know, I don't want to have to worry about my knife breaking. Um, but hey, I'm sure it, you know, I'll get used to not using my knife. Of course, that's just a bit silly because I'm a, you know, Resident Evil 4 2005 fanboy uh, and I'm used to breaking everything with my knife and having it not break but I honestly don't think it's a big, big deal you can repair your knife at the merchant and it's really cheap so it's not that big of a deal in my opinion I do love the fact that you can upgrade it so yeah there's really not that many bad things I can say about this game other than those two main things uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Of course, I'm not a journalist. Uh, I'm not, you know, someone who got paid for a review. I'm giving you my honest opinion without spoiling too much. I think original veterans of the game will enjoy this game quite a bit. If you're expecting this video game to be exactly the same as the original, then you're probably not going to enjoy it. But if if you go in expecting something new, you will enjoy the small moments that uh, will remind you of the original, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Subscribe, leave a like, comment. I'll see you next time.